views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Michael Shane Show, conversations with the Ascended Masters on Transformation Talk Radio, will help you connect with the Ascended Masters to raise your vibration and understand the lessons of life, balancing karma, fulfilling your earthy mission, and manifesting a becoming God in action. This live call-in show with Michael Shane and the Ascended Masters is an opportunity to receive spiritual education and healing with the guidance and direction of our beloved Ascended Masters all through this trans-physical mediumship of Michael Shane and his amazing guests. Now, here is your host, Michael Shane. Hello, everybody. It's another day, another beautiful day in Washington. Here's Seattle, Bellevue. We look across and see the beautiful Olympic Mountains. It is a wonderful healing opportunity to be able to see such beauty created by our beloved God. Today, we're going to um, talk about our life's purpose. And through the, the many years of study and listening to the masters and other gurus and teachers, I've come to realize that life purpose has nothing to do with our life job. For instance, if we're a police officer or a cook or a homemaker or whatever, that's not necessarily the purpose that we are looking for to have today in our lives. The life's purpose, and and I'd like to take this moment to kind of give you my uh, description or definition of life purpose. Life purpose is a vibration and an energy of resolution. So one may manifest moving forward in their involution through spirit to the next level of consciousness or existence going or returning back to the source or the oneness of God. And then from there, we move on to our next phase. If you're feeling anger, guilt, fear, sadness for some reason or another, um, that would be connected to your life's purpose, to find out what that anger, guilt, fear, and sadness really is. And because these are the things that block us from moving forward in our life that we hang on to things. We just won't let it go. We may be okay and had a wonderful life, but still have this underlining anger and don't know where it's coming from. Well, we're multifaceted beings. There is no space and time. Therefore, I believe that there are lifetimes beyond and before this one. So if if you think of someone that ha- that's that's having treatment for shell shock that's never been in a military or ever been in a war, you kind of wonder where that came from, and that would be um, past lives, which is something that we're going to be talking about in a future show. So if you have a past life that you bring it, bring in the residue to your present life of anger, guilt, fear, sadness, your life purpose at that particular point is to to create resolution or healing of the self so you can move forward. When we move forward in our lives, we find that there's a lot of doorways that open up for us. We end up attracting that which we would like our mate to be. We find financial happiness. We find love. We find light. We find God. We find, most importantly, our who and what we are as the self and the individual. Because there isn't anything there that's holding you back. In my life, I've had a 20-year period where I had no direction. You could call it my dark ages. That's what I call it. And I I remember when I was a little boy that there was this thing that was going on. There was this this gathering of people, and it was called a, a master class, where the masters would come and speak to you through a uh, what you would call a spirit trumpet and communicate with you or channeled through the medium, either way, about this process of letting go of the past and the present so you can move forward in the future or the now. 
And I remembered that through that 20 year period. And I, and I really didn't understand exactly how you could do that. Well, at the age of 27, I found a very good way of doing that. And that's regression, going back into your memories, looking for cellular memory or emotional memory or heart memory of things that has happened to you that that were not really meant to create a negative vibration, but it did because we are sensitive beings and therefore we developed a sensitivity to whatever the issue was. So when I realized in this situation that what I was holding on to was a lot of a lot of anger and it started making sense to me and I'm going man what would it be like to get rid of this anger so I go back with it with the help of an individual that he calls this process light color energy healing took me back in the past in this lifetime and other lifetimes and I remember the process of how I would see what was what was the meat on the bone what was the core issue? And that issue was very, very deep. And we go through the process of letting this go by using energies, colors, and vibrations, getting right into the, the deepest part of the emotion of the experience, and you start to let it go. Now, the first week is a little hectic because you're still releasing and going through the emotional feelings and uprushes of the process. But after that, you're like, wow, I f- you start realizing that you feel real good. Well, that is your first step for life purpose. Now, not everybody out there is going to uh, have an opportunity to go in and have a regression. And that's not the only thing that's out there that you can do. Meditation, for instance. There's a knowing. Every one of you out there are clairvoyant and sensitive at a certain level that can see these things on your own. And it doesn't take a scientist to let you know that you have anger, guilt, fear, sadness. You know that on your own. We may go through our life avoiding it, doing everything that we can to cover it up, but it's always there, and we know it's always there because in the morning when we wake up, it's still there. It didn't go away from the night's partying before. And... When you're letting this issue go, whatever the issue may be, you you feel very light inside of yourself. It's it's not a a, a light, meaning uh, a, a a energy or a color. It's it's like you're floating along and you're feeling really good. You want more, you want more, 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 more. It's like when you reach down and you and you and you take a a taste of something that you're eating and it's like, oh, it melts in your mouth and it's really good. You want more. For me, that's usually chocolate. (laughs) (laughs) Give me more of the chocolate. Um, And and, and by the way, chocolate does have a healing uh, property to it because it calms you down. And even though there's caffeine in it, they're, they're in the chocolate, it's still, it calms you down because you're you're in a different state of mind, you're enjoying things, and and from that point you can slip yourself into a a subconscious state not caused by the chocolate by you focusing on the meditation process. About two weeks ago, I w- someone asked me the question, well, what would be the best thing for me to do to to relax and look into myself? And I said, meditation, focus on the violet flame, and they're telling me. Man, I've been hearing about this violet flame for for 20 years. Uh, I'm getting tired of it. Is there something else out there? Because I've tried it and it doesn't work. Well, I guarantee if you really focus on using that violet flame energy that St. Germain um, was so uh, clever in creating for us, I guarantee if you do it right, you're going to slip into a meditative state. You're going to breathe properly. You're going to experience things. And it's no matter how bad what you experience looks, the outcome will always be positive because you're letting you're letting things go. You're giving your body time to relax because sleep sleep isn't really a relaxing uh, vibration only for the physical body. The spirit needs rest too, 
And that's what meditation's for. But it also stimulates motion moving forward. So you use these processes to connect to your um, finding out what your life purpose may be. Today, when uh, we're going to open up the phone lines at 1-800-930-2819, and if you have any questions relative to life's purpose, we can I can give you some guidelines and maybe even uh, some idea what, what that purpose may be with the help of the Ascended Masters. Um, it, it, it's a, I, I'm telling you, just from experience, sitting here today, talking to all of you wonderful people, was not something that was was going to happen during those 20 years that I recently was talking about. And the transformation that takes place. I mean, I, I'm even talking on transformation talk radio. You know, uh, here we are. Our whole life can change. Wake up in the morning. Keep a positive attitude. And and I know I'm, I'm, I'm just as human as everybody else, even though some people argue with me on that one. <laughs> um, I guarantee you, just from experience of my own self, that this is where it's at. You find your life's purpose. You resolve it. You move forward. You search for your own truth. Next thing you know, all these trials and tribulations and negative things that are going on in our life and the worry, the pressure, the strain, I personally can guarantee you it will go away. And yes, you're going to have your little bouts of of being frustrated and things like that, but it just goes away. As Jesus tells me, everybody, every single person has an opportunity to connect to it. So we're going to open up the phone lines um, right after the break here at 800-930-2819. Talk to you soon. are giving birth today. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to ask that you submit a short story to make a difference in someone's life, someone that you care about, someone who could benefit from the care that Wellness One provides. And for that person, Wellness One is going to donate their services, not just to one person, but to several people over time. This decision will be based on the heartfelt sharing of what you write, on what you say that that individual needs. They won't be sharing this story with anyone. It will be completely confidential. Dr. Thane, I would love for you to let folks know the best way to submit their story. Go ahead and send it to my email. It's going to be Dr. Thane, D-R, T is Tom, H-A-I-N is Nancy, at Wellness One, that's W-E-L-L-N-E-S-S-O-N-E dot net. Are you struggling through difficult times? During these times of change, many of us need tools and support to help us get through. Julie Kleinhans is the host of the hit radio show, Teaching from the Heart with Julie Kay, and is a world-renowned life coach. Many of us are worrying about what will happen to our jobs, our homes, and to our lives. This is why Julie is offering a 40% discount through January 31st of 2013 to support you and your family through these difficult times. She'll teach you how to use energy tools that will help you relieve the stress and anxiety in your life. Julie is donating the net proceeds to victims of Superstorm Sandy through the organization All Hands Volunteers, a U.S.-based nonprofit dedicated to empowering disaster relief volunteers and rebuilding communities. Please call Julie at 516-639-8042, 516-639-8042, or email julie at mindfocusgeneration.com for more details and to schedule a session. Have you ever felt or seen spirit? Would you like to learn more about these beings of light? Michael Shane, founder of the Ascension Foundation, is inviting everyone to come join them on Sunday, May 5th to their free Namaste celebration of the Living Masters. Join Michael and the Masters for a fun-filled day of healing and enlightenment, followed by an evening of mystery and master communication apportation event. Michael, a very gifted, scientifically tested, transphysical medium, will attempt to bring through an exceptional rare gift for everyone at the event. This sacred oil will be materialized right in your hand to assist you with healing and awakening. 
Admittance is free. For more information, please call the Ascension Foundation at 800-508-6437 or visit their website at michaelshane.com. That's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L shane.com. Hello, greetings and salutations. Today you're talking with Michael Shane, myself, on Transformation Talk Radio, and we're talking about life's purpose. I was just reminded a little bit um, from my guide, uh, Bobby, that there was a there was a time in my life where here I am manifesting these gemstones, and for those of you that, that are unaware of what I'm talking about, I, I do a process called apportation where we bring through gifts that are charged with energies for love light and healing from the ascended masters um that uh and and by the way we're gonna be talking about a, an opportunity to come and experience that um on on uh, may 5th uh here coming up and cheryl will will let you know a little bit about that but when i was looking at at this at this situation where okay me michael shane you know with all these different things of occurred apportations uh every time i would re- i would release something and let it go a little bit more of my gift would start to to appear and it would get stronger and i start thinking yeah you know 20 years ago 25 years ago i i would have never have thought i would be doing this today because of the 20 years that i just totally got lost in the inertia of things that really wasn't important, and that's the the anger, guilt, fear, and sadness. Now, I have a a co-host here, Cheryl, who is kind of going a 180-degree experience as well, and I was hoping that you would uh, share that a little bit. Well, for 30 years of my life, I worked in banking, and I supported others um, in real estate and then a year and a half ago, I met you, and look where I am. So, yes, my path has totally changed. Well, I hope that's a positive thing. Well, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a true experience. Because <laughs> I, I remember, you know, you, you were wandering around, and you, you came to an uh, an auction, and you were involved in the master class and, mm-hmm. and kind of looking around at everybody, trying to figure things out. And then next thing you know, you're coming down to the temple, and you're you're getting involved there. And next thing you know, you're you're pretty much running the whole Ascension Foundation, making sure I'm on time, which isn't uh, a easy task to do. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's go ahead and uh, take our first caller. All right, let's uh, travel out to New York. We have Eleanor calling in. Hello, Eleanor. How are you doing? I'm okay. Thank you for taking my call. Th- that uh, It is my pleasure. I um I'm not sure if they told you what I was calling about. Yes, but uh it we'd like you to to say it out loud so the listeners can hear your question. Yes, I, yeah, my main concern for this call is I'm concerned about my child, my daughter. Okay. Um she's look in need of finding a job. We had a business and we lost it last year and she's uh, grieving the loss and it's been um difficult adjusting and finding new place of employment since she was her own boss for for some time. And she's also uh, would like to conceive a child because uh, she is married and her and her husband have been married for at least uh, nine years. And she is presently on hypertension medication so she has, you know, she's been sad about her stay at this point, and she's in her thirty. She's thirty-seven years old. Well, the thing is, as we move into the year, the two thousand and thirteen, and you might not have heard this before. It's an integration into the feminine energy, the feminine power, and what wow. happens there is the, the the universe per se creates a vibration. So all of the stuff that you have that, that you're holding on to, the anger, guilt, fear, and sadness which I was communicating about a little bit ago, um, starts to manifest itself a lot more. Instead of one piece at a time, you're receiving a lot more uh, of the stuff that you've been holding on to all at once. And 
the loss of 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 the business is 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 tragic and it causes emotional uh, distress and a lot of other things but the positive side to this is that resolution is occurring your daughter has been in a in a state of sadness a lot longer than just losing the business mm-hmm. and this could be the potential of why she hasn't been able to conceive a child there's been too much depression there okay oh. and to bring through a child that most spirits want to come through a vibration of of happiness and love and light and i'm not saying that your daughter does not have that cuz i'm sure she does i'm hearing the voice coming from the phone here of your voice and i can sense a sensitivity a caring a loving vibration so your daughter is of you so therefore she would have the same uh, vibration as well so she is a good a good person okay and there will be other opportunities for her to start her, another business if not the same one but in the meantime she's going to have to work on that depressed side of her and find out what it is that she's been holding on to for so long that's blocking her from moving forward and it's and, and even though you, that she had a successful business she still wasn't moving forward and there wasn't anything more le- left to 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 be affected by it other than her business, so there goes the business. The economy may have had a little bit to do with it, but, you know, depression is a is a, is a heavy uh, vibration to, to deal with. Uh, I've been there. I know people that have been there, and I know people that are, that are, that are there right now. And it's not an easy thing to, to deal with, but we don't want to make it sound, you know, too difficult because... You can let it go. She can let it go. She just needs to find out what it is. And motivating yourself to get into that state of finding out what it is, is it's a struggle. It's but it is also a journey and part of the life's pass path to um, locate that purpose of resolution. Do you understand? Uh So you think it's that she has to she needs some kind of a Clearing, cleansing, chakras, or just letting go of finding, getting in touch with the depression, whatever's causing it. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the chakras itself. You you want you want her to go into her solar plexus and the womb area of her body. This is these are the the two areas that I feel have the weakness in it. So it's 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 likely that she had a lifetime where some tragedy tragedy took place in regards to having a child, or she may have had a lifetime where she lost some children. Okay, and so she's holding on to guilt and fear attached to that. Even the past, the past, past life. Yeah. Okay. But not and in this lifetime. No, I'm not there yet. I'm going to get to that in just a moment. So there's. And and you don't have to believe. She doesn't have to believe in past lives, okay? If that's something that shows up in her that's helping her feel better, if that's what her body is saying, this is this this will work. Then all you got to do is accept it at that level, okay? In this lifetime, she may have had uh, a miscarriage, um, which is also a, a a a very hard thing to deal with. And I, uh, I'm not I'm not my wife. I'm the husband, but her and I both went through three miscarriages. So I I know what kind of vibration and energy that that creates for the self. But you you have to still get up every day and and you just let it go, you know, because the spirit that that did not come through is in the arms of God being loved until the next time it has an opportunity to come through. So once your daughter locates this sadness or this depression that's the root cause of it i can guarantee you that she will probably have a child uh, and i sense the possibility of a little girl oh beautiful okay but she's got to be willing to to do the healing and uh you're in new york and i don't know anybody over there i would give you a recommendation but you can find 
people over there that can do regression work. Um, <clears throat> she can she can read uh, Dr. Brian Weiss's book, Many Lives, Many Masters, to before she goes into it, so she can understand a little bit of it from a mainstream um, psychiatrist. Uh, or I believe Barbara Brennan is over there in the New York area. Um, you can get in touch with her, and I'm sure that, that she can direct you to um, the right place. Uh, What's her name again? Barbara Brennan. Uh-huh. Uh, she wrote a book called Hands of Light. Very, very beautiful book. Um, Hands of Light. Yes. Uh-huh. My guides Brennan, tell me that she's are? that she's very real, very authentic, and um, could possibly direct uh, your daughter to the right place to help her with that depression. Uh, the Brennan, how do you spell that? B r e n n a n. B r e n n a n. I believe so. Or 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 o n. I'm not very good at spelling. Okay, hands of light. Yes. And what is she? Baba Brennan is a doctor or therapist. She um she works with spirit, chakras uh-huh. and and uh, the the spirit bodies. Uh, she goes into all kinds of different things to to. to Coin one thing that she does. There really isn't one thing that she does. She does a lot, and she'd be the best one to tell you what that would be. Okay. So I'll just Google her to get her information. Okay. Thank you so much. You you are most welcome, and you have a beautiful day. Thank you. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Shall we take our uh, next caller, please? Actually, we're due for a break. How about we do that first? Well, let's do that. Have you ever felt or seen spirit? Would you like to learn more about these beings of light? Michael Shane, founder of the Ascension Foundation, is inviting everyone to come join them on Sunday, May 5th to their free Namaste celebration of the Living Masters. Join Michael and the Masters for a fun-filled day of healing and enlightenment, followed by an evening of mystery and master communication apportation event. Michael, a very gifted, scientifically tested, transphysical medium, will attempt to bring through an exceptional, rare gift for everyone at the event. This sacred oil will be materialized right in your hand to assist you with healing and awakening. Admittance is free. For more information, please call the Ascension Foundation at 800-508-6437 or visit their website at michaelshane.com. That's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L Shane. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Change your coffee experience forever with Kamano Island Coffee Roaster. Fair trade, certified organic, shade-grown delicious coffee. The Kamano Island Coffee Roasters are giving back. Receive a free pound of the most popular single origin coffee, Papua New Guinea, to the first 100 callers. The number is toll-free, 855-438-8671. Just pay $8.95 shipping and handling, and you can try triple certified coffee for yourself. The number is toll-free, 855-438-8671. This is a free pound of coffee that retails at $16.95. Once you've tried this coffee, you will automatically be enrolled in the Coffee Lovers Club for free and will always receive free shipping and nearly 30% off retail of your coffee orders. This coffee is going to knock your socks off. That number again is 855-GET-TOP-1. We say top one because this coffee is the top 1% grade. That's 855-438-8671. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R patshow.com for listening times in your area. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Cheryl Gardner, and you're back listening to The Michael Shane Show. And today we're talking about life's purpose. How do we discover what our life purpose is? And everyone has an opportunity to call in and talk to Michael directly and ask that question. Can you, can you help me discover and find my path? And for first-time callers, um, Michael is offering a free sh- session. Um, you can have a 30-minute channeled reading in person or over the phone, so that opens some Opens the opportunity up to everyone. We also are offering a crystal light energy healing and a past life regression. It's your choice. You could pick either one of the three sessions. So um, give us a call and ask Michael, what is my life purpose? Back to you, Michael. Hello, everybody. Now, life's purpose. I mean, we, sometimes we're told that our life's purpose is stuff like uh, you're a psychic or you're a healer or... You're whatever, okay? That's connected to life's purpose. But in truth, you, you, how do you do these things and connect to these things if you're holding on to anger, guilt, fear, and sadness and other things that you could be holding on to on an emotional level, spiritually, physically, mentally, and, and what have you? And I tell you, unless you let these things go, you're always going to find yourself in a stagnant pond of repetitiveness, things never changing, even though everything around you is changing, okay? So what you want to do is just look inside of your heart, not while you're driving, (laughs) and focus on what it is that's blocking you from moving forward in your life. Why are you having the issues and the problems that you're having? Okay, and if you have any questions that you would like to ask about that, please call in at 800-930-2819. Benny, you would like to take our next caller, please? I would love to bring them on for you, and that would be Raul from Seattle. Hello there, Raul. Mr. Shane, uh, it's very nice talking to you. I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you a question in regards to something that's been holding me back. Which is, I know there's something in my my mind which has to do with this pouty, worry, and pessimistic attitude that comes in and takes over, then and can translate into sadness and despair at times. It, um, it's an acceptance I, I, issue. Uh, you're you know, ha- you're having an insecurity about acceptance. That that uh-huh. what that what you do isn't ever good enough. And there, and there really isn't anybody right now today that's telling you that what you do isn't good enough. It's been put in your mind, your your subconscious, in your spirit, that what you do um, is not good enough. And you're looking for the, um, uh, the okay from somebody else, the recognition from someone else, when really what you do is, is beautiful. You, you're a individual that was created by God, therefore, by definition, you are a beautiful child of God. And you have the strength. And the only person that you have to uh, to impress is yourself. Okay? There, there's nothing out there that you cannot do if you put your mind to it. You're very intelligent. St. Germain is the master teacher that's communicating to me right now. And he says, you have a very uh, strong mind. That you're very intelligent. It's it's getting that first step forward to exercise that is the part that's tough because you're you're in that worry state and there's a little fear there. So you, you let go of the fear by shrouding yourself every day in the white fire and the violet flame. And you can do that on your own. And you leave little notes on your bathroom mirror. Uh, I am the light. I am a child of God. I am worth being here on this planet. You know, affirmation after affirmation. And then I'm going to suggest that you read a book. You have a pen? Yep. You want to read a book called Autobiography of a Yogi by oh, okay. by Paramahansa Yogananda. Okay. Okay. Um okay. when you go into the bookstore, it's usually a book that's kind of orange cover with a picture of Yogananda on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. <clears throat> this book will uh, change the way things are for you. It'll give you a higher understanding of who you are, 
and where you're coming from. Okay. Okay? Because you are perfect, and that's something that you must tell yourself every day. Raul is perfect. I have no problems. And whatever comes my way that is in a negative vibration, I will release as soon as I connect to it. Mm, very powerful. So this is absolutely connected to this life. There's nothing else I need to do outside of, uh, uh, you know, think about past or, or anything like that, huh? Just well, it, it, it does go into past situations. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but your question was in regards to the now. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, since this is your first time calling in today, you'll be able to have an opportunity to come and see me for a session, whether it be a reading or crystallite energy healing. If you want to spend that half hour and talking about this and talking about opportunities that, that are there for you to go back and let go of all this stuff, we can do that at that point. No, that's, that sounds great. That sounds great. All right. Well, you have a beautiful day. And, you uh, too. Thank you so much. And it's uh, wonderful talking with you. All right. Now, Cheryl. Yes. We have a beautiful opportunity coming up on May 5th. The yeah. Ascended Masters are going to be giving us <clears throat> some oils from them through the apportation process. Could you tell the, the listeners a little bit about that? Because I'm like really excited. It's just I can feel this this motion going along in my stomach, and that's not because I'm hungry. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm very excited as well. Yeah, on Sunday, May fifth, we're having a Namaste celebration of the Living Masters, and we have a fun-filled day packed full of activities. And then in the evening, we have a mystery and intrigue for you, all lined up with a Master Communication and Apportation event. You can come, we can interact directly with the masters, speak to them di- directly through the, the trumpet that Michael mentioned earlier in the show. And then later, Michael and the masters are going to bring through a sacred oil for each of us. And I'm very anxious. Um, it's going to be materialized in each person's hand. What a yes. phenomenal opportunity. Yes, and I hope they don't forget me this time. You know, because I don't normally get a gift when I when I'm the medium. Oh yeah, but you get so many gifts otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought maybe I'd just whine a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the masters are and the Ascension Foundation is donating this time to all of you beautiful people out there. Right. So it's it's will be a wonderful opportunity if you go to uh, michaelshane dot com. You'll get more information. Uh, that will tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, this is a free event to everyone who would like to participate. So just give us a call or log into our website. And our telephone number again is 1-800-508-6437. We would be excited to see you there. And if you wish to call in today to ask any questions of me and the Masters, 1-800-930-2819. Let us go to our next listener, please. Jenny from Ventura, California. Welcome to the show. Hello, Jenny. You're listening to Michael Shane and Transformation Talk Radio. Hi. How are you? It's nice to talk to you. I am never better. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> awesome. What can I help um, you with? Well, I'm I'm calling in because um, I've been going through a lot of changes in my life, and I really, you know, I've I've been very accepting of it, but um, recently I'm I have kind of been introduced to a new business venture, and um, I'm very excited about it. I'm I'm happy that um, that I met this person that is willing to kind of take me under their wing and help me out. Um, but I I do have. I have a little bit of apprehension as far as, you know, their help goes because, I, you know, I'm kind of afraid that they might be taking advantage of my, um, you know, abilities and skill. Um, so I'm just kind of a little bit lost with that. I, I don't know whether to continue on my own or to um, 
you know, allow them to take me under their wing and and partner with me. Well, first off, there there obviously is a, an insecurity there um, in regards to trusting others. And that doesn't mm-hmm. just come from this experience with this individual. Okay? Mm-hmm. Second of all, when when one works for themselves, you're doing yourself more of a service than if you're working for someone else, depending on mm-hmm. how you want to define it. Okay? Mm-hmm. But it is also necessary for us to interact and be one with the self and others, too. So there's all mm-hmm. kinds of different uh, ideas and, and beliefs on that part. But in re- in your situation, I I am not feeling any negativity or any um, alternate uh, ideas or wants from this individual. I believe from what I'm seeing, you can trust this pe- this person, and then down the road, once you're more comfortable with what you're doing, you might branch out and mm-hmm. and, and and start your own uh, business with this yourself. Okay. Okay. Because I, I see you, and, yeah. and Saint Germain sees you uh, in your own business anyway, eventually. Okay. Okay. But it's kind of nice to have somebody there that's willing to help you. Okay. And um, mm-hmm. you know, and and it, it's just it's just beautiful. I mean, if someone comes along and says, "Hey, uh, you know, let me take you under your under 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 my wing." And yeah, you know, you're going to have concerns, but you look at the person's okay. eyes and you can pretty much tell whether or not you need to have that concern or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I do, I do feel that way that, you know, we, we connected and, and that I feel that he, you know, he obviously will have his best interest, you know, as, as well as obviously mine too, because. I, I do feel that he is a kind person, um, but I have had, you know, issues in the past with with trusting male figures. So I think that's probably why that makes sense. Yeah, it, it is the trust issue, and, and you have to be uh, cognizant of it, you know, find out what it is that was the root cause of it. But this particular individual mm-hmm. um, doesn't have alternate intentions. Uh, this one's business, friendship, okay. and whatever develops, but nothing in a negative form. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you very much. You. Yeah, you're listening to The Michael Shane Show, and we're going to take a quick break right now, and when we come back, we're going to take more listener calls. Beloved Ascended Master St. Germain, through the transmediumship of Michael Shane, is offering a one-time series of transformative healing sessions to help you let go and be who you truly are. Experience two crystal light energy healings and one past life regression with Michael for $125, a savings of $215. This offer is available to the first 20 callers who schedule their session. Be one of the first. Call now, 1-800-508-6437, 1-800-508-6437. Schedule your session and visit michaelshane.com. If you are new to quantum techniques, it's easy to get a free 30-minute one-on-one session with a QT practitioner. All you need to do is make a minimum purchase of $20 five dollars from our online store at quantumtechniques.com and you will receive a session with a QT practitioner that is worth two hundred dollars. Click on the Discover Health Today in the moving banner section near the top of our website's homepage to get more information. Take advantage of this today. Hi, I'm Michelle Bond. I'm the Vedic astrologer who shines a light on what you put into your body. Are you sick and tired of taking all the latest vitamins and herbs that promise to make you feel better and have unlimited energy but find they don't work? The reason they don't is because no two people are alike. There is not one fix for everyone. To find out how I can help you discover what will work for you, go to my website, themichellebonshow.com. Tune in each Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com for The Awakening Radio with Patricia. This hit show awakens your dormant, divine, feminine energy. The Awakening Show is the next step on your evolutionary journey through life. 
Get ready to awaken the dormant seedings within you, your soul's encodement, power, and purpose, and bring this forward with confidence and clarity through the power of your own voice. This show promises to boldly go where you've been before. You just need to remember. Be inspired. Become rewired with The Awakening Radio. Visit AwakeningRadio.com for weekly topics. Tune in each Wednesday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com to Inspired Action Radio with Jennifer B. Mastering the art of dream building in the real world. This hit show will inspire you to start painting the canvas of your life and bring your unique spirit and your amazingly intelligent mind together to find an incredible, practical, real-world strategy to building a life with epic results. Tune in to Inspired Action Radio with Jennifer B. Hi, you're listening to The Michael Shane Show. Um, This is Cheryl, and I want to remind everybody we're here every month on the third and fourth Monday, um, 11 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Central, and 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to take another caller, right, Michael? Yes, we are. Lily May is our next guest. Lily, welcome to the show. Hey, Benny. Hello, Lily. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, how are you both doing? We are all wonderful. Uh, okay. And we're wonderful because we have Benny here. <laughs> yeah. Benny does make a difference, huh? He does. Tell Benny I like his beard. I saw that. But anyway, I like his beard. I, I anyway. appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little shorter today, though. Well, I didn't know he had a beard. I saw him at this event. But anyway, it, oh. it looks good on him. It's, okay. <laughs> So what can I help you with today? (laughs) Well, I was calling because um, I have a business, and it's been a a challenge, a struggle, which I guess new businesses are, people say. And I like what I'm doing, but it seems like I'm stagnant. Well, that's only a temporary uh, setback, okay? Okay. All right. Um, We're still struggling with the integration into the feminine energy. All right. And when I say feminine energy, I'm not talking gender here, okay? Okay. It's the vibration, the energy of it. All right, because mm-hmm. the the male vibration had its reign for two thousand years. Now it's the feminine time. Okay. Okay. And what's happening is everybody's stuff is all coming up at once instead of piecemealing it through our life, and that way we can go into the feminine energy without having all this weight behind us. So this is a temporary s- scenario for you, and you'll start picking up business again. It, it's it's not a it's not going to be a, a, a long period of time, though you might get frustrated from time to time. Yes, I do. And I like what I'm doing. It's, I mean, I, I can see that I'm on the right track with that. And, and I am dealing with quite a, and I don't want to be, well, quite a few males where it's been, it's almost like that collaboration is not there. It's more, I want to dominate this project and you come in and be the worker bee. Right. So and, you would be, you'd be setting it all up and then have, yeah. 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 And they want, they want more of a, I'm setting it up, but they it's not a collaboration. We're not working together. It's more they want to dominate the whole project, even though they're not aware of what it takes to make it happen. Well, that seems to be the thing these days, that working together seems like pulling teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know why, but that's you know, that's my concern. So um, anyway, that was my main thing with my business because it is frust- you know, I'm getting a little frustrated, but that's, I guess, part of the process. Hang in there and breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, Three times each day when you feel that anxiety coming up. Okay. And okay. keep moving forward. Just and keep, keep moving. moving forward. You, you, St. Germain and Master Jesus both are saying, <clears throat> the rewards are at your feet. Okay. All right. I will accept that and, and have it resonate within me. So I, I appreciate that. And I, will, I plan to come to your event on the 5th. I'm um, checking my calendar. Well, make sure you come up and say hello to me. I will say hello. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Lily, for calling in. Uh, Michael, do you want time for one more call? One more. All right. Let's bring on Vivian, now calling in from Renton. Hello, Vivian. Hello, Michael. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. It's a beautiful day here today. It is. It is really beautiful. The mountains are off in the in the distance, and you can see them. Oh, I know. So what can I help I you with today? Home. I'm calling because I have recently gone back to school and um, I'm 
in a new career, and I'm loving it, and I, I'd like to know where it might be taking me. Forward. <laughs> Forward. Good. <Yes. laughs> um, the thing is, you know, a lot of the readings that I do, uh, for the most part, sound, you know, the, the positive. And the, and the reason is there is always a positive outcome to any and everything. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's motivating yourself to create that. All right? You have okay. the, the power within yourself to create a career that not only will be able to sustain your physical, but also the energies of your etheric as well. So you can feel mm-hmm. balanced in, in, in life, and everything else turns out to be gravy. Okay? Good. Now, yeah. y- your career should be in the healing field. It is, yes. So you have, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the right word here. You have a a, a a quantum vibration in your heart chakra. What that is is a direct line through the silver cord that's connected to your spirit that brings through energies that balances out negative vibrations in a physical body. So through your hands, you could help people connect to healing themselves. Okay. Okay. And, and may I go ahead? Sorry. Go ahead. May I presume this works for animals as well? Um, I wasn't the... seeing. I wasn't seeing either uh, two legged or four legged, but yes, oh, okay. it, it, it would um, be helpful with with the four legged too. And to give you a little bit of of a, um, uh, a history, I worked on a uh, one of those uh, toy poodles one time. Yeah. And pulled out some energies from the small of, of the of the poodle's back. And mm-hmm. and the poodle was able to go back to uh uh to sh- being shown at, at dog shows. Wow. Now, obviously, it wasn't anything. I'm not going to take credit for it. I was a facilitator, but the masters love animals just as much as they love people. You know, it, we're we're all created by the vibration of the energy of 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 uh, God. Yeah. You know, even the winged creatures and the ones with fins and, you know, uh, yeah. some, some kids goldfish. I mean, that's important to them. Yeah, it's that's li- true. It's life. So, yeah, it does work with the animals as well. Excellent. Because I want to continue doing that and figure out the best way to do that. You might want to even consider expanding your horizons and moving out in the outskirts where people still have farm animals and and make mm-hmm. and make yourself known there. Good. Okay. Okay. Just look at all like- means of marketing and advertising and, and don't slow yourself down. Just keep moving forward and you'll find uh, a happiness there that uh, will be just wonderful. I'm glad. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, and uh, thank you for calling in, and you have a beautiful day. Thank you. You too. You're uh, talking with uh, Michael Shane on Transformation Talk Radio. We're today talking about life's purpose. Our life's purpose, basically in a word, is healing. Healing the self, healing the spirit. We don't need to heal the soul. The soul is perfect. We'll go forward and move that perfect energy through our bodies, through our chakras, through the silver cord, connected to the physical body, and and have healing. And that healing is one of the most beautiful things that you can ever have in your life. Life's purpose, purpose of healing, purpose of healing others, purpose of just being, knowing that your existence is necessary and your existence is is definitely, definitely needed. And there's no reason to hold on to all this stuff that holds us back because everybody loves you. Everybody finds that you are children of God even when they don't recognize it because we are all here, one together as a whole, looking for an individuality that we can share to those that are our loved ones and people that we haven't even met. 
When you go forth in your life, I'd like to leave you today in remembering God is, and so are you. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you very much. You're talking to Michael Shane at Transformation Talk Radio. You've been listening to The Michael Shane Show, Conversations with the Ascended Masters on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in on the third and fourth Monday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Central, and 2 p.m. Eastern Time to connect with the Ascended Masters, raise your vibration, and understand the lessons of life. Call in for a live on-air reading with Michael and the Ascended Masters. This is your opportunity to receive spiritual education and healing with the guidance and direction of our beloved Ascended Masters, all through the trans-physical mediumship of Michael Shane and his amazing guests. For more information about the show and a schedule, full personal session with Michael, visit michaelshane.com. That's michaelshane.com. Oh, aren't you tired of the same old negative vibe? Hey, Valerie, have you heard about TransformationTalkRadio.com? No, what's that? Dr. Pat is launching a new network. And she, Dr. Pat? Dr. Pat. How many hours is she going to be on? It won't be all Dr. Pat. She'll be joined by her friends, transformative hosts from around the globe. TransformationTalkRadio.com is a 24-7 network. 24 hours of Dr. Pat and her guests? No, 24 hours of Dr. Pat and her hosts. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Where is it going to be broadcast? You're going to be able to hear her in Seattle, Boston, Connecticut, New York, Rhode Island, on over 300 cable radio stations, and on the Internet everywhere. Listen live at TransformationTalkRadio.com. Great. We should spread the word. Absolutely. Spread the word. Go to TransformationTalkRadio.com. I've heard people say that too much of anything is not good for you, baby. But... I don't know about that. Love is officially in the air. Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show is showing you love all year long, not just for Valentine's Day. Dr. Pat, known for her Pay It Forward manifesto, is now joined by the hosts on Transformation Talk Radio. I'm in love, baby, with Transformation Talk Radio. Tune in to TransformationTalkRadio.com. Amazing host, incredible guest. Get your groove on. Feel the love, be the love. Can't get enough of your love, pain. Lots of things I can't get used to. Stop. Get out of that car. Stop living your life in the passenger seat. Tune in to TransformationTalkRadio.com and let us help you drive.